Hey guys, welcome back to Rusty Gun. So today's video is on uh, how to remove these two rear pins. Um, and I'm just gonna go through a brief explanation on it because it's actually really simple. Uh, so, you know, to go through showing you how to take them out and put them back in, it, it's kind of a pointless video because it is actually really, really simple to do. Um, just be aware that this, these small detents that hold these in place especially on this front one, be careful of it because it's behind pressure on that spring and it will shoot out of there. Um, so just make sure you're someplace where you're going to be able to find those small detents should they shoot off somewhere, okay? So let's show you here real quick on how to do this. Okay, on this front one, you should be able to see right here, there is a small pin. That pin has a spring that runs in this channel right here and it is on pressure and you're just going to take a very small screwdriver put it into that channel and you're going to pull that pin back and then once you get that pin pulled all the way to the rear you're going to pull that front pin out and like I said that detent is behind pressure so it's probably going to shoot out of there um, to get it back in again a little difficult because you have to hold pressure on that detent and hold it back so that you can slide this back down, okay? That And that's all there is to that front one. It, I mean, it, it's this is really, really simple to do. Um, to do this rear pin, there is a small spring that sits right behind this plate. And that spring is holding the detent in that holds this rear takedown pin in, in place. Um, if you want to see how where that spring is located, I'm going to put a description. Uh, put a description. I'm going to put a link to the video that I do that shows you how to remove and replace this buffer tube because that's basically what you have to do. Um, you have to loosen this castle nut. You don't have to take this all the way off, but you have to loosen the castle nut to take pressure off of this rear plate so that you can get to that rear spring. And that video will show you exactly where the spring is and everything. And so once that little spring comes out, it'll take the pressure off the detent and you'll be able to pull this one out. And putting it back in with a spring, super easy. It is not as difficult as this front one. This front one is just a little more uh, difficult, a little bit kind of a pain in the butt uh, because all of that pressure on that detent is right here. And so getting this pin in and out can be kind of tricky and kind of difficult. Um, but it, that's it. It's really simple to do. It's just basically taking the pressure off of it in order to get them in and out. Um, so simple, quick, easy. There's not a lot to uh, most removing most of the parts on an AR. It's usually just a pin or a detent with a spring that's holding most of the pieces in place. Uh, so removing those two takedown pins, you know, it's easy to do. Putting it back in, this front one's a little bit more pain in the butt. The back one, super simple to do. Um, but the front one can be kind of a pain in the butt because that little that little detent right there with that pressure behind the spring, you'll be you might have to, you might be doing it several times and you might get a little frustrated that it's not going back in right away. Just take a breather, take a break, whatever, and then go back to it. Um, but you'll, you'll definitely get it. Just remember small screwdrivers and to try to keep that pressure back on that detent as you put that uh, pin back in place. A lot of times once you get the detent lined up, you can use this pin to actually push that detent back in and get it slid down far enough to, that you get it into the channel. Um, but to get it out, you're going to need that small screwdriver to pull that uh, detent, detent back far enough so that you can get the pin out. Uh, but other than that, back one, super simple. Just take the pressure off the castle nut, move this plate out of the way, and that little spring is right there. But that's it. That's all I got for you. Super simple, easy to do. Uh, that way you can put on the fancy uh, design pins if you want, or if you've got like I don't know, chrome ones or something that you're wanting to stick in it, whatever. Um, but thanks a lot for joining me, guys. Take care. I'll see you next time.